Hey everyone, it is Gabe from Frame, and I am here to talk to you today about shaders, which is a new asset type that you can bring into Frame. So I'm gonna show you how to bring them in, and then where you can find some uh, ready-made shaders, and then also how you can create your own. So let's dive in. If you're in Frame, click the blue plus button, and go to effects. Effects are now, are now broken out into two different types. Before this just used to be uh, effects, which were these particle systems. Now you've got particles or shaders. We have a few ready-made shaders that you can try out. Just grab uh, the first one you see, whichever one catches your eye. It'll come right in. You'll see that shaders are kind of sophisticated visual effects that run on the GPU. That doesn't always mean that they're good for performance. Some shaders can actually really lag you out if you're not careful. So keep an eye on your FPS, which you can now see at the bottom of the sidebar. This as a quick tip. Okay. So um, that's how you bring in a shader like any other asset. You can turn on edit mode and move it around. Uh, you can even make them spin and you can also apply different shapes to them to bring the shader onto a different shape. So I'm gonna make this one a sphere. Looks very cool. You can even make them spin and so forth. Now you'll see in the edit menu, and again, you pull this up, just turn on edit mode and click on the asset. You'll see a place where you can paste in your own shader ID. And I'm gonna show you how to find these. We have a new website called library.framevr.io. And it's broken up into a few sections. There's gonna be a lot more in the weeks ahead. But for now, we've got shaders and particles where you can actually browse shaders that have been created by people on the frame team and uh, people within the frame community. And you can even submit your own once you get the hang of it. So you could be browsing, you might be interested in this logo shader. So all you have to do is click copy ID and it says copy to clipboard. Then go back to frame. You're in edit mode, you've clicked on the shader ball and you're gonna paste in the ID that you just grabbed from the frame library and then press set. Now this is gonna look a little funky because we put it on a sphere. So you might wanna make this a plane to really see it how it's sort of supposed to be seen. Looks very cool. Now you might be thinking that looks cool, but it would be even cooler if it was my logo. And let's talk about how to do that next. So if you go back to the frame library, you can find that logo shader. There's another button next to copy ID called Remix. And if you click on that, it'll open up a really cool tool called the Node Material Editor from Babylon.js. Now, this is a pretty complex tool. We're gonna to be making some tutorials that help you get started as a beginner. But even if you don't understand all of this, you might see pretty quickly where the frame logo gets added to this shader. You can click on this node and then go ahead and upload your own uh, image as the texture in the shader. I'm gonna pick this other logo that combines our logo with the Babylon JS logo. And you can see it comes right in. And then you see the shader incorporating the new image. So that's all great, but now you need to bring your new shader into frame. So if you scroll up a little bit on the node material editor sidebar, you'll see a button for save as unique URL. And if you click that, it will change the ID at the end of the URL. And that's your new shader ID. And you can copy that and then actually paste that into frame as your shader ID. And you can see it'll change to yours. Now, if you make something really cool and you happen to want to share it back to the community, well, you can do that. If you go to the frame library, you can click on submit asset, write a few little things about your shader or particle system and paste in its ID right here. And then it could show up here once it gets approved. Okay, there you have it. You know the basics of shaders, how to bring them into your frame, find some ready-made ones, find even more at library.framevr.io, bring these into your frame and even edit these and bring in your edited shaders, <coughs> excuse me, right into frame. Okay, good luck.